Hi, this is Andrew Jones with Climate Interactive, and I'm here answering a question from you, Bill McKibben, as part of your climate newsletter at The New Yorker. You asked about our En-ROAD simulator, the online free climate model that we just built with MIT Sloan Sustainability Initiative. And as you'll see in the demo that I'm about to do, uh, it now makes it possible because of the advancements in climate science, in simulation science and technology, for ordinary people to create their own scenarios in this tool and see what it's really going to take to address this global challenge. So check it out. So the En-ROAD simulator is a fast, powerful way to test different futures on climate, where you can see what policies do, how they would change things, what a powerful effect various climate policies could have, or a less powerful effect some might have. The basic setup is this, that we have a graph in the top left for from 2000 to 2100. It shows all the sources of energy um, what we're doing to provide energy all around the world in this global model. Here we have coal in brown. On top of it is all the oil and natural gas in blue, wind and solar and other renewables in green, bioenergy, and then nuclear on top. To the right are all of the emissions of greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, but the other gases as well. This is the pollution that's causing global warming. The effect is that temperature goes up a full 4.1 degrees C. This is a world we cannot adapt to. Of course, we want to get it all the way down to well below 2 degrees with an effort to get to 1.5. That's the challenge given to users as they change 18 levers at the bottom. Thought as a first test, Bill, you talk a good bit about keeping coal, oil, and gas in the ground. So let's look under here. We hit the three dots and we can look at what would happen if we stop building new coal infrastructure. In this case, it's set at 2025, and we're gonna watch what happens as it ripples through both the coal policy, global sources of primary energy demand, and onto the climate sector. So before I hit it, hit the button, we want you to think. People should think first. This is not an answer tool. So what is going to happen to coal, oil, and gas? What's gonna to happen to the emissions? What about energy prices? and effects on vulnerable people who are affected by these kind of policies. So think, and then we'll try it. I'm gonna stop building new infrastructure. In the bottom right, you can see here we have a peak of coal energy demand. It stops investments in 2025, and then it falls swiftly throughout the century. I'm gonna replay this, and you can see it a couple more times. The impact, you can see the same area in brown goes way down, and overall the emissions of greenhouse gases depart from the black line and create this new blue line. They peak and flatten around 2035, 2040. Temperature comes down a full half a degree from 4.1 to 3.6. As you've often said, Bill, there's no silver bullet. Even stopping coal is not a silver bullet. It helps doesn't save the world, it really helps. You might wonder why doesn't it get us well below three degrees even? Well, there's some other compensating effects. Did you notice the size of the blue area? That's natural gas. You can see that we, that area grows. We have more natural gas because we have less coal. We also have more wind and solar and more nuclear. We also have an effect on overall energy demand. The top of this stack goes down. Why is that? Well, if we look around and see some other variables, such as cost of energy, well, if we eliminate one of the less expensive sources of energy, overall energy becomes more expensive, which is a challenge for justice and equity. We need to make sure that there's a just transition and people aren't hurt too much by this. But also that means that more expensive energy inspires energy efficiency and energy conservation. So energy demand overall goes down. I'll run it again. You can watch the blue line depart from the black line here. That's the overall impact of this one policy. And En-ROADS is set up to then invite you and any of your readers to go to En-ROADS in Google and try many of these other policies. Can you get 3.6 to come well below 2 degrees or even 1.5? by affecting 
all of these other, other policies that are available down here at the bottom. And once you've done it, can you share your scenario on social media to any of these other places or join some of the trainings to lead a game or a workshop with this? Overall, you get to explore what you've often asserted, Bill, which is there's no silver bullet. It takes silver buckshot. This is an invitation to test the silver buckshot that everybody has in mind as they work to prevent future climate change. All is available for free at enroads.org.